Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy sixty third birthday, James Cameron. Happy birthday to you. That's right, guys. Uh, the king of the world himself, my favourite movie director, and the director of the two uh, biggest box office successes in history, Avatar and Titanic, uh, just turned 23 today. Uh, so, uh, uh, to uh, celebrate his birthday, I thought I'd give my predictions for uh, the upcoming Avatar sequels, uh, Avatar 2 in particular. Now, uh, before uh, we uh, get to my uh, Avatar 2 predictions, I uh, just uh, wanted to advise you guys to uh, get yourselves to uh, Disneyland in Florida, to the Animal Kingdom, as James Cameron uh, opened this year, uh, Pandora, the world of Avatar uh, uh, ride uh, at, at over there. I mean, it looks like uh, the the uh, most uh, extraordinary rise that I, I, have, I have ever seen. It will literally take you to Pandora. So get yourselves there and check it out if you can. Uh, uh, my cousin actually got to check it out so uh, with his family before we did. I'm so freaking jealous. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, Avatar uh, 2 uh, is... Uh, and the, the whole uh, Avatar sequels and cinematic universe, it's my most anticipated movie since the original Avatar of all time. Uh, the original Avatar is my favourite movie of all time. I know uh, many will disagree with me on that. Uh, people will uh, complain to me thinking how overrated it is, but uh, you will not change my mind one bit. So no matter how hard you try, I stand by my opinion. Avatar, I think, is the greatest movie you've ever made. Uh, it, I, there's nothing else uh, like it. And it truly deserves it, in my opinion, to be the highest grossing movie of all time. And in my opinion, if it was down to me, it would have won Best Picture in 2009, not The Hurt Locker, even though I still love The Hurt Locker. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, James Cameron's just my favourite director of the lot because he pursues the impossible, he pushes the boundaries, and uh, with Avatar, it, it changed cinema forever, technically, and uh, and and more than that, it has a, a great uh, story and an uh, awesome uh, inspirational message about looking after the planet, uh, looking after our world and being in touch with, with nature. And I hope the sequels continue that. So obviously they're going to have uh, shit loads of CGI and the CGI is going to be even more, uh, well, revolutionary than it was in the original. If if these sequels are better than the first Avatar, which my favourite movie, I uh, will uh, I will be uh, well uh, surprised. Uh, but uh, but uh, but I have faith that James Cameron can top the original because both sequels he made were better than the original. Terminator Two and Aliens uh, topped their predecessors, and uh, Avatar Two apparently will take place out of Pandora's forests and into its oceans, uh, which. Uh, I'm uh, really hyped about. Uh, we get to see more of Pandora, a side that we never got to see in the original film, and can't wait to dive under the the ocean and see Pandora's sea life. It's going to be a whole other world, and uh, I hope we get to actually uh, travel into and explore uh, other worlds in the Avatar sequels, and we don't just stay on Pandora to uh, get more of a variety of uh, of uh, locations and settings. Uh, let James Cameron's imagination imagination just uh, get limitless and run wild uh, because let's face it and uh, no director has has an imagination like him or uh, where uh, Jake and Natiri will be obviously Jake is now a, a full avatar uh, in in the sequels after he was converted at the end of the first movie he's no longer a human a, and him and Natiri might actually be the chief and queen of uh, their uh, clan and I'm not sure whether the queen avatar will reprise her role uh, but uh, but she may or may not uh, but uh, I regardless I still think Jake and Natiri will take over as uh, chiefs of of their clan and uh, they may have kids either a son or a daughter to ex exceed their their legacy and uh, 
and uh, yeah, hopefully their their kids will actually uh, uh, play a play a big role as well as them. And apparently, a lot of characters that were killed off uh, in uh, the first movie, well, all the characters, I should say, uh, will will return and be resurrected. Uh, Stephen Lang's uh, Quaritch uh, will certainly uh, uh, return from the dead. Uh, I'm so happy that Stephen Lang's coming back because Quaritch is obviously uh, the best movie villain ever. He, you can't top him, so why not just use the same uh, villain again? It, it works works for me. And obviously Quaritch is going to be super pissed uh, uh, and uh, bloodthirsty for revenge uh, for Jake uh, ruining his plan to destroy the Tree of Souls and bring Unobtainian back to Earth. Uh, so now he's going to obviously want to destroy the oceans and uh, and uh, he may uh, uh, get, recruit a new army of some kind and uh, maybe not humans so Jake and Natiri will obviously have to thwart to his schemes uh, once more and uh, also Grace is coming back uh, Sigourney Weaver's Grace uh, uh, she, I'm so uh, well uh, relieved as she's coming back because she was one of my favourite characters in the first Avatar and uh, uh, although uh, they did a scene where they tried to heal her by the tree of souls, uh, but uh, but her wounds uh, were too strong. Uh, she's she's coming back to life uh, too, and she's probably going to be uh, Jake's uh, and Natiri's advisor and uh, and help them beat Quaritch uh, uh, along the way. And uh, when when they travel to New World, she'll probably give them you know breathing helmets to breathe the different air. And uh, of probably a uh, Trudy uh, may come back to life as well. I hope so because she's a uh, uh, a ton of fun, uh, her her character and, and a joy to spend time with. Uh, ba basically, they're going to uh, resurrect most characters, but I hope we get plenty of new characters as well, new Navi and new clans uh, and, and new creatures on Pandora. Uh, so, uh, as well as... Uh, as well as uh, the old, uh, these sequels better have plenty of the new. James Cameron will be writing and directing uh, all uh, four scripts for the four sequels. That's right, Avatar is no longer four movies, now it's five. Uh, so uh, we're going to be getting a cinematic universe, but I think Avatar is the one movie that deserves to be a cinematic universe the most, more than the MCU and DCU, even more than Star Wars, because... There's uh, there's endless stories you could tell uh, with uh, with Avatar, uh, and uh, I'm sure James Cameron uh, is uh, planning something big, emphasis on big and epic uh, for uh, these four sequels. Uh, he never uh, lets us down. All of his movies have been masterpieces, and uh, yeah, it, and uh, it's going uh, to be. Uh, uh, a, a delight uh, seeing uh, Sam Wevington, Zoe Zadana, Stephen Lang, Sigourney Weaver and Michelle Rodriguez uh, all uh, back in their roles as well as new cast and man I just uh, I, I'm hyped uh, as hell I I I words can't describe how hyped I am for Avatar 2 it has been a painfully long wait. Uh, we've waited eight years now for a sequel and uh, it's still not uh, here yet uh, but uh, it may come out December 2018, maybe 19 or, or 2020 at the latest. And in the latest issue of Empire magazine uh, there is proof that Avatar 2 is in the works right here. Uh, so uh, our, our, when uh, we return to Pandora history is gonna be met. Is so, happy birthday to James Cameron, and to celebrate I've got my two favourite movies of all time, uh, Avatar and Titanic, I might watch them today, uh, just to celebrate, and uh, uh, also, before uh, uh, we conclude this video, I wanted to give a uh, shout out to a new subscriber, Josia Pedras, uh, yes, uh, he, his channel only has 11 subscribers, and he deserves much more, uh, uh, so sorry the shout out is late, buddy, I know you've been requesting it so for a few videos now uh, well here it is uh, I I so I hope you guys uh, do uh, check out his channel if, if you have the free time uh, and check him out and I'm sure he'd uh, greatly appreciate that well I love you guys thank you for watching I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this uh, discussion and predictions for Avatar 2 and uh, 
uh, please wish James Cameron a happy birthday in the comments section. And uh, are you excited to return to the, the world of Avatar and Pandora? Uh, or are you uh, not interested? Uh, whatever you think, please comment. Let me know. Please like this video and subscribe. Please follow on Twitter and on Google+. Uh, and I'll uh, see you next time. Uh, bye, guys. <laughs>